Have you ever gone back to cast and gotten your line and your lure all tangled up and the rods you have sticking up behind your seat? Well, if you have, you need a horizontal rod holder. Let me show you how to make one out of PVC. Admit it, it's happened to you. If you've got rods sticking up in a milk crate or even in the rod holders that come with your kayak, those rods go up right in back of you. And if you're sitting there and you're taking a big cast, you know, you whip it around to the back and bang, it gets all tangled up in the rods. Or even worse, a fish runs around in back of your kayak and now you got to work the line and the rod through all those pokey rods sticking straight up. Well, I had an earlier solution for horizontal rod holders, but it's not right for everybody. And so let me show you how to make a single horizontal rod holder, and you can make as many of these as you want. It all starts with one of my PVC gearhead adapters, and I'll link up the video that shows you how to make this here. And what you do is you get inch and a half PVC, you get a cap, then you get a connector, then you decide how high you want your horizontal rod holders to be. I decided this was a good height, so that pops in there. Then you get one of these T connectors, and you're mostly done. Now here comes the hard part. What you got to do is get another inch and a half piece of PVC, and you got to cut out a slot like this. I used one of these tools with a very flat blade to get the nice cuts you see right here. Then this can go into here. Your rod and reel goes in here and it hangs down. Now you need to make this far enough from the stand to where the back of the reel does not interfere with this. So let's go outside, put this on my kayak, and I'll show you what it looks like. Here it is mounted to one of my gear tracks in the back. It'll stay out of the way of my paddle that goes into this clip. And I can pop this in here, slide it all the way back, and now it's in the slot. So even if I get a hit, if I'm trolling something behind me, you know, that's not going to come out very easily. Now you can put as many of these back here as you want. On my boondocks, I've actually got slots back here where I can even have this farther back. Let me show you. So here it is back on my boondocks, and I can move it back and forth. And I can even pivot it to have the horizontal go in a certain direction. Now, one of the things I recommend you do is only glue the bottom parts and then glue the top part. That way, you can take this off when you don't feel like you need to use it, but you don't have to hassle with removing the whole thing. And if you've got other PVC attachments that you've made, you can use that same gear track adapter to pop them on. And of course, you know, if you don't glue the connector, you could just leave the gear tractor, gear track adapter right here. So it's up to you how much of this you want to glue. I just made this one, and so uh, I need to decide how I'm going to glue it. Now, one other thing is if you don't like it to go absolutely flat, if you want it to be pitched up a little bit, well, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that talk about how to bend PVC. And so you could bend this center part right here to give it a little upward pitch if you feel like that's what you need. So what do you guys think about this? I think this is a great solution to the horizontal rod question. And I'm going to use this because I've become convinced that if I throw out a Livingston topwater lure, let it just sit back there, I might get a bite on that because that's happened before. What do you guys think? Throw the comments down below. Thanks.